Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my first video for 2022, so I just want to start off by wishing everybody um, a very happy new year. I hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas or whatever um, festivity you have been celebrating and that everybody is feeling well rested and relaxed. Now I want to start off today by finishing off the last few pages in my 2021 Use Your Scraps journal. I've just got five or so pages left to finish. Um, and thought I'd switch on the camera before you know I start putting a new journal um, together for 2022. I'm going to start off by doing something with this page here. So I've pulled out a load of um, scrap embellishments here in various shades of blue. Um, now I was thinking that I would quite like to have um, this flower here on this gorgeous blue background tonally. It works really well with the page on the left hand side. Um, I'd quite like to keep that fairly simple I'd pulled out these two pieces here as well which I thought would go um, and maybe I just want to do something simple by just adding that beautiful um, French lace doily in the background and keeping it as simple as that now do I want the doily on the left or the right hand side I think I want it um, on the right just because we've got less detail in the background underneath so I think I'm going to start off by gluing this piece here down. So let's just add um, a few dabs of glue. I'm just going to grab um, a piece of parchment paper just to catch the excess. So this is the back of the doily and I'm just going to add a few bits of um, a few dabs of glue just around the edge just just like this, just to hold that beautiful doily um, in place. And then we can add a few bits um, on these broader areas here as well, where you won't be able to um, see any glue seeping through. This is such a delicate doily. I don't want to add very much glue um, at all because it really isn't going to, going to need it. So I am going to place my doily on the right hand side here like like this. I'm just going to be really careful smoothing this out because it's so delicate. I don't want it to to tear. Isn't that just gorgeous? Absolutely um, beautiful. So next, let's just make sure that I've got that down. So next I want to add my, my flower. So let's see where, where I want this, this to go. I think about there like that. So again, I'm just going to use some of the art glitter glue just around the edge of the, the flower as well. And bring back the journal page and let's just pop, pop that down. Now, where did I say I wanted that to go? That will do just just fine I think. Let me just have a play around with this. Perhaps there like that I can wipe that excess glue glue off. That's just beautiful. I like how that um, that looks um, and tonally it works really well with the page um, opposite. Now, I think that page is just so beautiful um, in its own right. I don't want to add anything else to it other than this Tim Holtz um, a small talk quote um in fact it was part of a, a larger quote live simply give generously i think it was i just want the live simply i'm just going to glue that down with a with a glue stick um, these are self-adhesive but they don't stick um, very well and i just think by adding a quote it will just balance it out with the um, opposite page so i'm just going to add that there like that and that's the first page done isn't that just so pretty now, staying with the blues, I've got these two pages here um, that I also need to fill. I'm going to start off by doing something with this page here. I've got um, a piece out of um, probably a Flow magazine or maybe a Daphne's Diary, something like that, um, that says date um, and thoughts. That's really pretty. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just um, trim this raggedy edge off. I don't know whether you can see it. It's just where it's been torn um, out of the magazine that it's come from. It's, it's come from one of those um, pamphlet um, inserts that you offer 
can get. I'm not going to make any attempt to cover these date and thoughts up on the left hand side. I'm quite happy with that. And then I've pulled out this focal image that I thought I might be able to use. Now I can remember fussy cutting this many years ago. I've probably had this for five or six years. So let me start off by doing that and we'll see um, where we take it from there. Now I've just rounded the corners on this piece here. So I'm happy with that so far, but I'm not sure whether I want to add some more layers. Um, I have decided that I'm just going to fussy cut um, this blue um, leaf design here out of this um, piece of wallpaper. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So just this um, piece here. And as soon as I've done that, I'll be straight back. I fussy cut my leaves out and I've kept those um, really simple. But before I glue anything down, what I do want to do um, is add the date. I've got my little um, tool here, my little stamp. What I do want to do is just make sure that um, I get that the right way round. Let's have a look. 6th of January 2022. You can see that um, I've already um, put the right date on and I want that to go there. Don't overthink it, Nina. 6th of January 2022. Um, and before I glue this page down as well, I'm just going to glue the flower. I'll just use glue stick to do that. So let's put this down and I'm just going to have the stem right at the very bottom of that um, that page. Let's just bring bring this back just so that um, I don't get glue all over my table. Just want it slightly off the page and then I'm just going to add glue to the back of this and let's add it to the journal page. Um, shall I use glue stick for that? I think I will because this um, paper here is so flimsy. Glue stick will be, be fine and it's quicker, quicker and easier. This is just going to go down here like, like this. Just make sure I get that straight. And then what I thought I could do with these leaves is have them just in the top right hand corner here like this. In fact, actually, that's going to come down over my date, isn't it? So perhaps I should have them um, there. Oh, do you know, I wish in a way that I had put the date on the second um, row down, but that's OK. Um, I didn't. So let me have a play around with this. I found a way of doing it. If I have it there like that, you can still still see the date. Isn't that pretty? I like that um, a lot. Now the white space up here is really bothering me so I've just cut out um, another branch and I'm going to glue that down there and then I just want to find some kind of um, quote or word just to finish the page off and I'm just going to keep it really simple. And I've just added the quote, appreciate the simple, to finish that page off. Let's have a look and see what we can do with the left-hand page. Let's just pop that to one side. I've pulled out um, a jelly print, which I thought colour-wise would, would go. If I show you here, you can see that the colour is just absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to glue that down um, to this page here. I think that's going to look absolutely beautiful. The texture of this is wonderful um, as well. Um, the way I will do that is to just um, put my parchment paper under here like this and just apply glue stick directly to this, this page here. Let's just um, stick, stick this down. So let me centralise that so that I get um, as much of that gorgeous colour as I, as I can. There will we'll do. And I'm just going to cut the excess away. Let's just make sure that we've pressed this down all around the edges so that that's not um, going anywhere. We've got a couple of wrinkles but, um, but that's okay. So that's that um, glued down. I've also got um, another piece of wallpaper with this beautiful bird image and I'm just going to fussy cut this out um, as well. You all know how much I love using um, wallpaper samples for focal images. They're just such a great um, resource. Um, and again, you know, I get asked the question all the time, where do I source these? Um, they are readily available from hardware stores here in the UK. Um, but also I have a lot of um, wallpaper sample books um, as well. And they're quite easy to get um, hold of as well. If you go into sort of any of the um, places like, um, oh, Dulux, um, 
crown um, quite often um, they will give you any of the um, discarded wallpaper sample books um, when they're they're out of date um, you might not get them straight away you might have to phone them up and ask them if they'll put them to one side for you um, once they're out of date but um, but usually you, you can get you know some really good decent um, free supplies now how do I want to do this I just want to make sure that I don't cut off um, his feet so I just want to keep this as simple as I can let's just um, do this I haven't kept any of that greenery um, just because it would have been too awkward um, to cut out but I do like that um, that berry isn't that sweet so I just need um, something in the background now um, to mount mount that on my jelly print background back in the journal next to the page um, opposite that I've created just so that I can see how things work together now I've cut out a piece of that wallpaper scrap um, into a rectangle and I think that's going to make the perfect background for my bird I've inked around the edges of this already and I'm thinking that that can go um, there like like that I've also cut out um, some more of these leaves as well I've got very little um, now of this wallpaper left but I'm thinking that um, I can add another sprig of that at the top and I just think those two pages work absolutely beautifully together so I'm going to glue those down and I just love the fact as well that I've got um, a jelly print for a background on the other side um, here and this page here as well these are all jelly prints so just a wonderful way to mix um, junk ephemera and you know bits and pieces that you've created yourself um, all on one page so let me glue this down and then we'll see what we can um, do next and to finish this spread off I've just added the quote fluttering on a breeze which I think ties um, the two quotes together but I also feel that it needs something um, here on this side I've pulled out one of these flowers which was from um, the kit that I had from um, the washi tape shop a piece of um, flower it's blue that's um, called I'll leave the link to where I got this from in the description box below I just think that will just add a little bit of balance so I'm just going to struggle with this um, these are a nightmare to get um, unstuck the best way to do it is using um, a pokey tool so now that I've got this away from its backing um, let's just um, pop pop this down I think that's going to look really pretty now I know that um, you know we are in um, winter and some of these pages are looking um, rather spring like um, it's just the way it goes because I've been working on this journal throughout the year and um, these are just some of the pages that I've got left and I'm just trying to get them to, to match um, that just looks beautiful to me really happy with that so moving on to the next pages that need um, finishing I've got these two pages here now we have a cluster of butterfly and moth themed pages and so I want to try and keep this um, in keeping with those as well um, let me take um, this out um, let's do it from this direction so that I don't um, end up tearing anything and pop that to one side now I've got um, a couple of pieces of um, packaging um, these were just thank yous um, that I received in things that I've ordered through the post so we've got this one here love you in fact they both say love you they're probably from um, the same company and I thought these would be really pretty um, to use now I have cut um, some pieces of um, scrapbooking paper scraps that I thought um, I might be able to use to cover up um, some of this writing that we don't want to see so I've got that one there um, I thought the polka dots um, worked really well and to keep the continuity, I've got um, another one that I'm going to glue down here as well. Um, so I'm just going to stick those down there like that. And then um, let's pop these into the journal and see what focal image we can find to add. We've got the little mats on now to cover up the writing and I've pulled out a couple of butterflies that I thought um, might do the job and I'll leave the link to the video showing how I made these. These were butterfly embellishments that I've made myself, really easy um, to make. So I'll leave the link to this video in the description box below for anybody who's interested. So I'm just going to pop one 
um, down there like that. I could do something heavy to weight um, this down with. Hang on, let's have a look. So we've got my pencil sharpener, that should do. Um, and again, let's just add some glue to this one here. I'm only um, adding it to the centre of the butterfly um, or moth um, and to the side um, as well because I want um, some dimension. And let's pop that one down there um, just like that and I thought the colours um, in this one um, just picked up the green um, that's in the background and also the green that's on the opposite page which you'll see um, in a second once I pop it back um, into the journal. Um, these are both double layered um, you can see this one here as well. I don't want to pull this one up too much um, and, and stick it, but I'm just going to weight these down for um, just a minute or two um, until that um, glue grabs. I've also found a piece of leftover wallpaper sample here. I've um, scraped around the edges just to rough this up a little bit. Love how that looks. And then I found um, a piece of cream paper and I've just gone around the edges here with some Distress Ink. I've also got... Um, this pink butterfly and what I'm thinking is that I'm going to take this off to the sewing machine just add a few stitches around the edge and then add a butterfly on here something um, like that. I just love the stitching around the edges and I've decided to keep um, a few loose strings. I have um, however decided to change up the butterflies. Um, I've decided to add the smaller ones. The other pink one was just a bit too big um, I found this really tiny pink one here and this lime green one, which I think um, goes much better. So I'm just going to stick those down. And these are just stickers, so I just need to peel off the backing. So let's find a place for these in the journal. I think this one is going to go here. Um, I like how that looks. Um, I've also found a place for this one. I'm going to mount it with a with another piece of the blue paper that um, I've used as well. Here we go. Um, this paper here. So that's going to go on there like um, like that. Um, I think the colours match beautifully with the um, opposite page. And then um, this one is going to go here. Um, just there. So those are the butterfly pages done. One, two and three. So moving on to the back of the journal, I just want to do something with this um, page here. So again, I'm just going to take this um, out of the journal. In fact, actually it needs doing front, front and, and back. So pulling out some of my red scraps, what I'm going to do is um, put this leftover piece of um, wrapping paper here on the right hand side and fill it in with some of this red wrapping paper here. I've used this on the other page as well, so that's very much um, in keeping. So I'm just going to glue this down. So that paper is now stuck down and I'm going to um, stick some washi tape down as well just to um, disguise that join. Um, I use this on the opposite um, page as well. So I'm just going to have that there like that. I have put some um, glue stick on the back as well just to make sure that um, that, that sticks down really well. Um, I like how that looks. So let's just um, trim the edges of that and that was just um, a, a roll of um, really cheap washi tape that I'd had from uh, I don't know Poundland or somewhere somewhere like um, like that um, so now let me just show you the opposite page those two pages tie really well together so I just need to find myself um, a couple of focal images Let's have a look and see what we can do with this. I've got this beautiful um, image here that I want to um, use. I've got no idea where this um, came from. I do want to turn this into um, a kind of um, tab. So I'm just going to stitch some burlap on. Um, that ties in with um, the other page. Where's that one gone? So so here. So I'm just going to run um, a few stitches um, just along the top here. And to attach it to the page, that's what the stitching um, looks like. Um, I am just going to use some gold washi tape to tie in with the colour on the opposite page. So let's just pop some of, some of this down the left hand side. Just trim, trim this off so that that's nice and uh, nice and neat. And if I decide I want to add um, a little um, pocket at the bottom at a later date, I can do, but that will do for the um, time being. 
and pop that over and we'll add a little bit more to the back um, as well. Let's just pop a small amount down there as well and trim trim that off and that will hold hold that um, in place and if I want to put a sentiment or something on the back um, then I can do isn't that cute color color wise it's just perfect next we've come on to this page here and I've decided I want to add this um, gel print um, some kind of monoprint I can't even remember how I did this I'm just going to trim the sides down and then I need to decide what I want to do um, for the background just to um, layer it up but let's start off by doing that first I've trimmed it and inked around the edges and I've also got this piece of um, handmade um, paper that I want to add in the background. I've also got um, a piece of my hand dyed um, paper as well that I did with um, either onion or avocado skins and I think that will layer up really nicely. I'm just going to tear this um, slightly just because it's um, way too big. So let's have a look and see how we can um, do, do this. So let's just roughly tear tear this I want it um, fairly uneven so here we go let's just um, pinch off these um, longer bits and I think that will layer really nicely and finish off that background so I'm just going to um, stick this down just um, using a glue stick that's glued down and I think what I'm going to do is um, stick this on with a little bit um, of glue stick you can see that it's got jelly print um, on the back I think this was um, one of the pages we were doing when we were monoprinting without um, a jelly plate I'm just going to stick that down um, loosely and I'm just going to sew around the edges and that will form the focal image for that page um, there and I think it ties in beautifully with the beetles on the other the other side or the cicadas we are nearly done so for the other side of this page here um, I've got this gorgeous postcard which was um, sent to me um, in happy mail I just want to cover up this reference here and I've just got um, a quote that says beautiful so I'm just going to pop pop that down there like um, like that and I'm just going to secure this um, with some of that gold washi tape um, as well where's it gone here it is um, because I think, you know, colour wise, it's lovely and I want to be able to see what's on the back. I can't actually read it because it's in um, Dutch. And we'll pop that just onto the edge of the journal. And I'm just going to add some more tape just on the other side here as well. So we'll just add another bit of tape just on this side this side here there we go so that's um glued down there like that so i'm just going to have a flick through now and um see what's um what's left i think there's one more page i just need to um locate it and that's this journal done now we just have this little cluster here left to do. We've got this page, um, something to tuck um, into here, this page, and that's it. The journal is finished. Um, I want to start off by doing something to um, tuck into this pocket. I've got um, another piece of wallpaper um, and I want to make a tag. So I am just going to glue um, him down. Isn't he cute? Um, let's see if I can get these um, berries on as well without chopping. Um, his his head off so I'm just going to um, apply some glue um, on here and stick this down so let's see if we can um, line line him up I think that will do do fine um, hopefully we've still got the the berries on there so I'm just going to trim around and just keep my fingers crossed and let's see what we've um, ended up with here 
isn't that just so sweet i love that tag um i don't know what i want to do with it um i've inked around the edges and i do want to add some ink actually around the back as well and i don't know whether i'm just going to add an eyelet through this or a little tab at the top i don't know i'm going to ponder and think on that one and you know i may well come back um to some of these pages and add um, some quotes at a later date but you know i just want to finish them off for the time being um so let's do something with these two pages um here now i've got um, a couple of images that i want to use the first one um is this um little image here isn't that face just gorgeous and this was from um a postcard that i received with something that i'd ordered from um dally art um i just keep all of these kind of things you know thank yous um and um you know any packaging that comes with stuff that i've ordered through the mail now i've got um another piece of that wallpaper left over this is the very last piece apart from um a few scraps and i've also got this page here out of a lily um and me catalog um this is um old um I don't know, four, five, six years old. Um, Lily and Me is a clothing brand here in the UK and this has come out of um, a page from one of their brochures. We've got this writing on the bottom and what I'm going to attempt to do is just use um, a Sharpie marker just to get rid of some of that. Um, hang on, let's... Um, I should have got um, a broad Sharpie marker. Let's have a look and see if we can just get rid of that um, text at the bottom just so that um, I've got a broader space to work with. Let's have a look at the width of that. So we need to go just um, a little bit further, further along. If we go all the way across, then you won't be able to um, see it. That's what I'm hoping um, anyway. And let's just use the marker just to go, whoops, along the bottom, um, as, whoops, along the bottom as well. I'm not very good at doing this with a with a pen I have to have to say so I'm just going to leave that for a second or two just for that to dry and then my thinking is that um, I can add that wallpaper then add that face um, and we've got this beautiful floral design I don't know whether you can see that um, and that will be the background to add to my page I need to go a little bit further further across here just so that it doesn't look look odd so I'm just going to glue that down cut it out um, and that's another piece of um, ephemera to add to another another page isn't that just beautiful so I'm just going to cut this um, at that line there and let's piece this together now I've decided I'm going to use my Memento um, ink pad just because it's easier and I'm far less likely to make a horrible mistake. I'm just going to ink around the edges of this page here. So that's that. I'm going to do the same with this page here as well. I'm not going to do anything with the wallpaper sample. Um, but of course, we've got the black edge on this one here, which is why why I'm doing it. And I am just going to glue these pieces down. So I'm just going to glue that there and glue that um, on top. And doesn't that look lovely as, as a cluster? Absolutely gorgeous. Those colours are just beautiful together. Isn't that just beautiful? I've added the quote, hold on tight to your dreams. And so that's finished. We've got a bit of a bump here um, by her face, which is um, a shame. I think it's um, come from the glue, but that's OK. Now, I've also got um, this piece of the um, magazine left as well. And what I think I'm going to do is turn this the other way around. And I've got this tag here, happy memories. Um, again, this has come from packaging. I've just um, glued it down to a piece of polka dot paper this was um vellum packaging and i'm going to stick this down here like that um, i think that will be um beautiful and then we just need to decide then where to place these on the last two pages so let's try and make a decision as to which page is going to go where. We've already got purple on the previous um, page. Um, this was a piece of soap packaging. Um, so let's have a look and um, see what looks best. Oh my goodness me, this is going to be such um, a hard decision. Don't overthink it, Nina. 
I think I like that um, layout. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to glue those straight down. Well, my 2021 Usual Scraps journal is finally um, finished. I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed um, the process. Um, I have some beautiful pages which I will be um, sharing with you next week. I'll do a journal flip through sometime next week. Um, but I just hope that you've enjoyed um, watching me finish off the last few pages today. Now, if you've got any questions you want to ask about this journal, please feel free to um, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to um, answer. Um, but just to let you know that Kylie and I will be back um, next Sunday as normal to kick off the challenges for 2022. I just wanted to um, put this one to bed before we start um, the new year. So for anybody who's interested in following along with our weekly um, challenges during 2022, I'll leave the link to the Facebook group the Mixed Media Emporium in the description box below. I'll also leave the link to um, Kylie Koo's channel as well. I co-host the group with Kylie Koo so if you want to go and check her out um, you'll find the link to her channel in the description box below. Um, but you know if you've enjoyed my video today as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching. Take care everyone and we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.